Guys, T Fit here, Fit Bully TV. How do you manage aggression in a dog? Why would you want a dog to be aggressive? I've gotten the message plenty of times before I stopped replying to messages and people said, man, I want my dog to be more aggressive. I will continue to repeat, reiterate, and remind you, you do not want an aggressive dog like you don't want an aggressive female. I was gonna say the other word. And you don't want no aggressive man. You don't want no aggressive boss. You don't want no aggressive employee. You don't really want no aggressive friends. And I pray that if you are dealing with aggression personally trying to find ways to be more melancholy that you find and you seek peace and you get away from any environment that brings that dog as they say out of you now like subscribe and share tron's one of my most loving dogs some would be perturbed and i'll be clear in saying i don't like my dogs being super nice nice does not mean aggressive when i say nice i don't always want to run on other people liking them loving them all that other stuff Tron's not that way, but he will love you to death. And he'll love, for the most part, everybody. But then we saw him get on a suit. We go, okay. He'll, he'll get on your butt, too. So I said, we straight. <laughs> and that right there is what you call the perfect balance. Whenever I've seen people who struggle with character development and managing who they are as people, it's based on who they think they need to be to get things done. So you think you got to be aggressive to somebody here. You feel me? brother calm down it ain't that deep it ain't that serious i was raised in an aggressive environment i know what aggression does to people i know what hate does to a person i know what even walking down the street uh, and, and the environment where, where i come from what it does to me psychologically it brings out a monster because no longer are you in a state of peace you're looking over your shoulder you're looking at how somebody looking at you you're watching your back all that stuff is anxiety and you don't want your dog to be anxious Think about that. Translates right to anxiety into the dog because now the dog, who's really in a state of fear, because that's what it is. Like in real life, like you go down to certain areas where you're not straight, like you either the toughest <laughs> or you're not. And even 50 Cent said it. Some people put out stuff like they ain't somebody who got the same energy they, they got. Problem is, they ain't got nothing to lose. So when you come up in this rap game, as he would say, you need to let that stuff go because now you've ascended to a new place where you can find peace and you don't have to be peaceful to be better. Or you don't have to lack peace or be aggressive, my bad, to be better. You need to be clear, you need to be good at what you do. And in this case, you need to be loving. So I know naturally that bully type breeds, pit bulls, German shepherds, Rottweilers, Doberman pinchers, bring out the dog in a person, AKA the devil in a person. And it makes you feel like you gotta be that person. But I remind you, you ain't gotta be that person, man. I didn't get these dogs and I don't have these dogs because I got to be mad aggressive and hateful and strong and tough. I got them because they're an extension of the person I don't ever want to have to be. Why do you think I named Ego Ego? He keeps my ego in check. Y'all presume this is ego driven, but I don't tell y'all to look at my dogs. I don't tell y'all I got the best dogs. I don't tell y'all I got the best bullies, the biggest bullies. I don't sell no dreams. I ain't deem myself the GOAT. None of that stuff. I'm just a guy who likes taking care of his dogs. Nothing more, nothing less. We're going to do a little bit more to encourage everyone to be better. But remember, patience is peace. And when you do know patience, you've, in a sense, found a sense of love. And as the Bible says, <laughs> love is patient. Isn't that crazy? And love is kind. And what is faith? <laughs> Faith is the substance of things hopeful and the evidence of things not seen. Fear will keep you where you're at and faith will take you where you're going, people. And it is faith that has gotten us to this point. It is the belief that I could change and influence things in a positive way without being hateful, angry, or aggressive. The job of any man and any woman is to be clear. And the clearest message I want to put out at all times, no matter what, is to take your time. Take care, dog. Love your dog. And if anything, learn to love yourself. Try. Sit. Down. Stay. Count to five people. Three. <laughs> and a little bit goes a long way. Tron was a dog who I never thought we would get to down. Who would get to do anything? Ooh. Even now, he just made me bite my tongue. <laughs> Tron, Jesus. 
And normally if somebody did that to you, you'd be like, man, get off me. You'd be tired. Dog don't know no better. He's literally showing me love. I'm supposed to get mad because I've hurt myself because he's just being himself. I've seen every situation and gotten all the questions. How do you do? How, how do you discipline a dog? Y'all think discipline is practicing Muay Thai on your dog. <laughs> that is not the case. Discipline is you taking the time, energy, and effort. Getting up and doing what you're supposed to do every day and bettering the dog and pacing yourself. What are you doing, dude? I talk to the dog like he's a human every day, people. For now, take care of your dog. Take care of yourself. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, people. I promise you it's, it gets better, but I can't promise you it gets easier. It's that simple. Until next time, like, subscribe, and share, people.